is up everybody it's bmc beats coming at you with another video i know i did my last video <laughs> what bro what are you talking about man what is up everybody it's bmc beats what's up everybody it's bmc beats coming at you with another video this one's going to be about how to make your own loops how to make a loop pack and get it out to the public my last video i just did if you guys haven't watched it go check it out it's how to make your own drum kits that take sounds that you have laying around and change them and put them into your own drum kit so you guys can sell them so this one is going to be how to make your own loops somebody requested it and uh, i decided to do a video on it so if you guys have any other suggestions on stuff that you guys want to see let me know in the comments below let's get into it first things first we got to get a sound that we like i found this one in uh found this in omnisphere open this up so you guys can see what i'm doing let's go This, this, and this. Okay, now we can start adding, I like to add higher notes or usually I'll start moving these around. get a little bit creative we're gonna add another sound here so I'm gonna go into one of Nick Mira's kits and pull out a pad that I really like using so I got this loop so far pretty much at this point all I would really do to it is EQ it so let's go in here and put a quick EQ on it uh, if you guys are wondering how I'm moving this around all you got to do is click this little highlighted bar and hit alt and then your arrow keys will uh, move it around so you guys can like structure this a little bit better. And we're just gonna cut out the low end. Here I'm cutting out a little bit more of the lows because I don't want it to clash with the other the other melody there. So that's something you gotta keep in mind when EQing. We're obviously EQing out the lows so it doesn't clash with the bass. But when you're EQing your melodies, in the best case scenario, you wanna have a melody that's playing in this area, like a main melody, and then you wanna have another melody that's playing somewhere up here. And if you EQ it like that, they'll they'll mix together more, a lot better. They won't clash with each other is what I'm trying to say. For this scenario, we'll just leave it like this. Cause I feel like this melody is more in the, the high end anyways. Now, once you think you got them at a decent level mixed, just go into your master, Take off this fruity limiter because we don't need it. And we're gonna open up an Edison here. This is how I usually make a lot of loops in one session. And we'll go on play, and then we'll just play this melody. Uh, left click on the mouse, and then I go Control X to get rid of that. And then we'll just save this one. We'll straight up save this one. We'll make a, but it's better you guys make a folder, have it obviously put whatever whatever loops and then you can just start saving everything into that folder so it doesn't get confusing one thing i do suggest you guys do though is for every loop you guys make so it makes it a lot easier to work with if you guys are going to use them and it makes it a lot easier to sell if you guys want to sell them make sure you guys are putting the uh the root note of the of the loop and the bpm so people who get it can work with it easy i use g sharp so i know it's g sharp major so when I uh, when I save this now, I'm gonna go to my desktop. I'll go G sharp, just so I know, and I'll go BPM 100, just so I know for my 808s. The secret is obviously to find two sounds that mesh well together. See, in this 
this case, I'm probably going to take this EQ and drag it lower so the melody that's higher up doesn't clash with this one. I'm just going to pull that back a bit. That low bell is not clashing as much with this now. Because if you look at the EQ, this is all of it's playing up here, right? We can even do something like this. I'm going to clone another Omnisphere and I th I'm feeling maybe like a flute vibe or something on it. We're going to try and uh, put another instrument on it. I'm just going to try and mess around until I find something. Okay, I think I got something. So now, another thing you can do to make your loops a little bit more unique is I'm going to take all three of these, I'm going to drag them over and I'm going to make each one of them unique, make unique, make unique, and make unique. Now all of these I'm going to drag. You can do this afterwards by chopping up the sample and pitching it up, pitching it down, doing whatever you want to do, but sometimes I find it easier to do all the work first and then afterwards just uh, cutting it up after when you... Uh, when you're actually using the sample. So we're gonna just raise every single one of these in octave. If you guys don't know how to raise it up in octave, all you gotta do is select all, which is control A, and then control, and then up on your uh, directional pad. So just keep that off for now. Okay, let's start uh, building some drums on this. guys here's the final product i hope you guys liked this video if you did thank you for watching if you liked it subscribe like comment let me know what you guys want to see but i need you guys to help me and i'm here to help you guys so let me know what else you guys want to see and hit me up on instagram at bmc beats with a z hit me up with my dms whatever whatever subscribe like comment please thank you See on the beer, boy, boy.